Welcome to another AAA video. Today we're going to run a scraping 101 class. I know scraping is one of the most powerful features that we have on AAA just because it's very, very convenient to inject content coming from a particular page into your prompt. I use it quite a lot and I want you to use as best as you can. So I decided to record this. This is fairly straight to the point and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here I am at Triple AI page and let's say I want to scrape this page into my triplo. I brought triplo to my screen and I can use this custom smart prompt scrape and then add the URL. When you do that, you're not relying on any model or OpenAI or anything. What you're doing, you're capturing the full content of this page to your AAAI. This is also a very good way for you to be sure that Triplo was able to capture the content of this page. So here I'm doing nothing. I'm just grabbing all of the readable content of a page and throwing into AAAI. If you want, you may copy this, you may use it on your prompt, like summarize, and then use clipboard, for example. But there's also another way to do scraping on AAAI. You can inject this directly onto your prompt. And for that, you use the URL in a different fashion. What you would do, you would not use the scrape command. You would write your prompt, so let's say, Let's say I want to summarize the following content in a paragraph with the top five points in bullets. The content is, and then I injected the URL. I pasted the URL of AAAI here. So what I'm doing, I'm using this, which is called inline prompting. I'm adding the content coming from AAAI to my prompt. Think of this as a large block of content. All of that content that we scraped before will be added at the end of my prompt here. So if I hit enter here, what it will do, it will summarize the content and then list the five, uh, the five key points in bullets. Let's see how this goes. There it is. AAAI is an all-in-one virtual assistant designed to enhance the productivity by providing real-time assistant, content generation, translations, and then the points. So you got it. I don't have to use scrape command here. I should not use scrape command here. If you try doing something like scrape, then adding the URL and then asking for something, this won't work. So let me try it. You get an error. Because what Triplo is trying to do is convert all of this into a URL, and it's not, it's a prompt. You should remove the scrape here. Let's try it and invert the order. See, it understands that it's a content provided from a website and it describes in a summary what it have. I think you got it. Scrape the, plus the URL is something that grabs the content and show it to you. It's a nice way to be sure that AAAI was able to scrape the content. If you want, and I advise you to do, use the URLs within your prompts. Do it in a good fashion. Run your prompt and point it to the content coming from the URL. Let's try with different URLs. So here I have a random uh, shirt from Amazon, and this is uh, the international Amazon. So I'm bringing Triplo to my screen. And let's say so I'm asking what are the things that people likes most and less about the following product. The product is, and then I injected the URL of the product. Let's see if this works. So see, I did this on purpose. GPT 3.5 is kind of lazy, and I really don't know what to do with it, but it sometimes avoid to work on like lengthy comments. And I believe this is related to cost and something coming from um, 
OpenAI, but we can try it in a different way of prompting. Let me try it. So now I'm not calling um, the product as the URL. I'm telling AI that I'm going to share content about the product and I want it to extract information or summarize information, what people like most and less about it. Let's see if this works. So see, it worked. This is an important way of using scraping, and this is not about scraping itself. This is about the way the models are designed. On GPT 3.5, 16K, the lazy one, you must avoid using direct calls as videos or products or things like that. You always mention the content. I'm providing you content. I want you to work on this content. Because if you do that, you put it on a corner. This is a model that's designed to work on content. How can it not provide you information about the specific content? And just to be sure, let's see what it returned. Based on the provided content, it seems that people like the legendary White, white Trails Men's Buckham. I, this is a very complicated name for me for several reasons. So quality of material, authentic designs, traditional style, and so on. And the things that people may like less, sizing, color discrepancies, and things like that. So it works. The thing is that sometimes you have to be smart building your prompt. Be fair with you, this doesn't happen quite often with other models. So GPT-4 for sure is not lazy. And even those coming from Open Router works better than GPT-3.5 in this uh, particular cases. Now let's switch the key a little bit. Sometimes um, scraping just doesn't work. Either because the site is preventing scraping, like AppSumo does, or X, uh, the uh, former Twitter, or uh, LinkedIn for uh, after a, a number of calls, they just don't allow us to scrape the content, so we can not do anything about it. But sometimes it's not intended. In this particular case, our documentation, it's dynamically uh, built from Nimbus, coming from Nimbus, and if you try to scrape it, it won't work. So if I try the comment scrape and throw in the documentation, this is going to return me an error. Um, so the same would happen if you try, for example, on X, uh, sometimes on AppSumo, um, LinkedIn, I already mentioned, and also some uh, e-commerce sites, because the sites are not built yet. They are dynamically built. And if you try, for example, spread simple site, the site is not there. There's nothing to scrape. It depends on the browser calling and accessing uh, Google Sheets and stuff like that. So it's it just doesn't work. Let me share with you another example of scraping now using YouTube videos. So here I have this video in English and I'm going to scrape it. And if I run scrape, plus a URL of the video, I'll get the full content of the subtitles. The videos must have subtitles. AAA does not do the transcription or extract subtitles or captions of any video. It's just capturing what's there ready for you to consume on YouTube. Happens that, and you can use it the very same way as you do on regular scraping. You could say, and throw in the URL, so summarize the content of the video, and then it will come with uh, the content summarized from these uh, subtitles. Sometimes when you try to scrape something, you get an error. And this is an example. Let me clear here, and let's try to do a summarize again. Plus a URL. And you see that this particular video does not have English subtitles. So what I can do, if I head to the video, I'll see that we have Portuguese uh, subtitles available. And I can get to my AAAI, head to the settings, and switch to 
Portuguese. Now, if I try to scrape it, there you go. I have the full content of this subtitle and I can do, let me try again. It worked. So now it summarizes the content in Portuguese from the subtitles of this particular YouTube video into a paragraph explaining what's the video about. Sometimes you just won't be able to scrape anything from a video. And this is one of the cases. So if I try to scrape this, you'll see there are no subtitles in Portuguese as was set on my settings. But also there are no subtitles in this video. I don't know why Hungarian never Hungarian videos never have like subtitles, but it is what it is. And we do not run any processing on extracting subtitles out of audio or video. So things to remember when you're using scraping on YouTube. By default, the language is English. If you need to scrape content coming from another language, you may do head to your settings and then select a different language that you know that the video has subtitles. In case uh, you want to scrape the full content of the subtitle directly, you may use the same command scrape and the URL of the video. Or you can also use the video as content, the, the subtitles as content. So you can build your prompt the way you want. And what I advise you to do is pointing prompts to access content. And then the content would be the URL of the video. I hope this clears the air. That was if you have any questions, just drop us a message on support. But trust me. It's very, very good to use scraping on AAAI. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye-bye.